Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So I noticed a couple comments about uh, what color flesh color that uh, I use. And somebody had mentioned that they were looking for ceramic coat Sam Santa's flesh and they couldn't find it. And so I thought real quick, I'm going to do just a few different face colors that I have and that I love uh, and ways that you can, uh, you know, mix a darker color with a lighter color and get a nice shade. And then you guys let me know. I have a video on here. I'll link it uh, around this video somewhere where, where I used uh, primary colors to make face uh, color, which is a great thing for you to do, uh, you know, if you don't want to go out and, you know, buy a regular flesh color. Um, you definitely can use uh, different colors to, uh, you know, regular primary colors that you have to make flesh color. So let me know and uh, check out the video uh, that I link here. So these are different brands, as you can see. So I don't have specific brands that I love. This is called Folk, uh, from Folk Art, and it's called Portrait Light. Okay, and you could tell it's very, very loved. <laughs> this is the Ceramicote Santa's Flesh. Now, I, I do love this. I do love this, and I'm on the lookout to find it again. Um, it's from Delta Ceramic makes it. Is that what that word is? I'm so uh, creative. Delta Creative. I can't see. So, uh, and it's ceram coat. So, I love that. This is Light Flesh from Folk Art. And as you can see, this is how I usually judge on how I'm going to do it. You can see the difference of the color. This one's much tanner. This one's much lighter. So, I like to use this as the base, and then I like to use this as some of the uh, shadow and all that kind of thing. But it depends. So, there's those. Now, these are ones that I love to play with, and I've used these before on different videos. But this is Ceramicote in Bambi Brown, and I love this as the shading uh, when I'm painting, and sometimes I just love this as the uh, base. So what I'll do is I'll paint this the base color of the face, and then I'll go in with a lighter color, um, even, even one of these face colors, and I will highlight the uh, under the eyes, you know, on top of the nose, that kind of thing, the chin, so you can do it reverse as well. This is Folk Art Warm White. Not Walter White, Warm White. <laughs> Do you get it? Okay. So this is Warm White by Folk Art. This as well, I love to mix a little bit of the Bambi Brown in or even the Raw Sienna, which is Ceram Coat. Um, so I love to mix a little bit of that in the Warm White as well to get different colors because honestly, we are all different skin colors. Some of us have more reds, more pinks, more yellows, um, darker skin tones. So, you know, you can go crazy. There's really no right or wrong. And then another one of my favorite colors, which if you guys have been with me for a while, you know, I name all these all the time. This is parchment and this is by folk art and it's very, very light. But again, you can take this and mix it with a darker color. You can use it as highlight. You can do all that. Um, so these are what I like to use. Uh, I also like to use, I don't know if I have it here. It is Almond by Americana. It's multi-surface. Uh, and you can see that's much uh, yellower if you put it to, even if we do like this. So you can definitely see how you can really play around with the different colors um, and get, you know, different uh Shades. And the last one I have is from Americana. It's one of my favorites. It's Honey Brown. And I love this because you can see how brown it is. And you can see the difference in these three browns. So you got three different uh, ways to go here, you know. And this is for darker uh, skin tones and as well as shading. So these are all fantastic. And so if you can find any of these, again, um, you know, if you write them down when you go to the store or look on Amazon, this is Folk Art Portrait Light or folk art light flush or folk art warm white now these like i said i mix these i don't i mean you can use them you know as as i've done before but uh folk art parchment this is americana this is an almond this is ceramicote in santa's flush ceramicote in bambi brown this is americana honey brown and this is ceramicote raw sienna and i like i said all of these are fantastic so you know 
and look look in your brands of paints at your craft stores because you can um they, they might have other ones that I don't know about right now. So um, I have to go look. But yeah, so if I find a ceramic coat, because Santa's Flush is my favorite color, because I think it's easy um, to, you know, work with all these. But again, you can see I love the folk art as well. If I find them, I'm going to get them. I'm going to do a giveaway for somebody. But uh, I'm still on the hunt. But, you know. One never knows. So thank you very much for watching. Any questions, as always, please leave down below or you can email me or hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, wherever. And um, I'll be glad to answer your questions. And I know I have a request to do uh, to paint a face. So I'm going to probably be painting a couple faces and the mixed media uh, canvas that I'm going to be doing is coming up as well as I'm working on. I'm almost done with it. Uh, making a doll from clay and it's going to be the doll that I made my angel doll that I had which I'll, I'll show you uh it's a stand-up doll in clay and I love it it's one of my favorite things I ever did um so I'm going to do that step by step in a video as well so thank you very much for watching I truly truly appreciate it and as always please be kind to each other you never know what battle somebody else is fighting and again any questions just ask and I'll see you guys later bye guys